So I know you had um, you go undrafted as a college as what eighty percent of college basketball players, right? Um, you get a you get a chance in a D league. What was that like? What was that process like? Uh, it was different, man. Um, once I really learned, start learning the business. You know, G League was different. Um, I had a, two different stints in. You know, the first one, you know, I was I was like this close to a call up, and then one of the guys who, you know, um, who who the team I was with, he came back down from the league, and I got cut, mm. and I was averaging like. 15 points at the time, like six assists, five rebounds, three or four steals. Like I felt good. Like I was really playing the best basketball of my life. I was I was finally able to start being me again. You know what I'm saying? And and that's when like my 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 vision for basketball, my my love and passion for playing, it kind of changed. You know what I mean? Because I knew. From that point on, it wasn't necessarily about production. Um, it was more so about, you know, relationships. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 you know, from that point on, my 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 like my just love for playing the game just kind of shifted a little bit. Like it left a real real bad taste in my mouth, man. Because to prepare for that, I went back to my hard roots. Like for the for the. The four months leading up into the G League, man, I'm back getting up every morning at five o'clock, you know, running three and four miles. I'm back up the bench at like 315. Mm. You know, I'm getting up a thousand shots a day. I'm murdering everybody in every gym I'm touching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm feeling good. Like, all right, this is my time right now. Like, I'm feeling bouncy again. I got my joint love and my passion back. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like, I feel good. Like this is my time, and and like the habits swept from up under you like that, man. It 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 you know it really 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 just took my love. It really did. Well, what team was that? Was that for the the Spurs or the eighty seven? What is it? Eighty seven. It was both. Both of them. It was both. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then the only thing that they could tell my agent at the time is, I man, you know how to, he. I mean, he's playing great, but. I mean, you know how these, you know how these, you know how these organizations are. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I know it's not me, as far as the way I'm playing and the way I'm producing, it's just, you know what I mean? It's just the the, the business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. It really, really de de deteriorated my love for really just playing the game. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and. You know, like when you know you this close, you this close to that to that one ten day. Yeah. Any, I mean, anything can happen when you get that one ten day. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like they did the same. They do the same thing to like Beyonce when he first got from VCU. Like they just kept giving them ten days, but they wanted to just keep him. Yeah, it's I mean, and he could tell you better than anybody. I see him, man, he putting up quadruple doubles, triple <laughs> doubles. He's shooting an excellent percentage from the field. Like, he playing crazy defense. Like, his highlights like, when he's playing the G League is crazy. Man, you trying to tell me he can't stick? Man, that's, that's absurd. That's the business. Mm -hmm. That's the business. I mean, you look at it when you see guys, even in the league, they putting up crazy numbers. And they like, yo, we don't want his contract. He gotta go. You like, yo, he just had the career. He just had the career. Like his season, this is the best season he's ever had his whole career. They'll ship you like that if it don't make sense with them, them books. So, yeah, man. When once you get past college, don't you get into that um, right on the cusp of playing the league and not like it get real, real tricky, real tricky. And I don't. You know, at that time, I didn't have the mental mental capacity or the mental patience to deal with it. You know what I mean? And 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 you know, that's the one time in my life I can honestly say for about a four or five month period, and it's the only time I ever felt like this. Like that's how I know depression is real. Mm -hmm. Like that four or five months after I got cut, 
Like, yeah. yo, I'm sick. Like, I didn't want to be seen by nobody. I ain't want to come outside. My eating habits were all right. Like, I ain't want to touch a basketball. I just, I did not want to be bothered at all. So what? So what made you want to go? Like, you been through that doing for the uh, G League. What made you go overseas and get that bread? Uh, it was, I just wanted to try it. Like, for me, it was always legal bus, to be honest with you, but I just wanted to try it and see what it was like. You know what I'm saying? Well, I did a year in Israel, and then I did two different times in Canada, but when I went to Canada, the bread went right, so I just was like, yo, I'm not standing over here for this. And then I went to China on a two-month tour. That bread was all right, too. But then, like, I never really wanted to be over there like people don't realize he, you know hooper say Yo, I, I i'm cool i'm gonna go overseas like like that take a kind of mental toughness like you like you like you like you can never imagine mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying you really really gotta be i mean it's, it's and again like i said i tell anybody like getting through hard grave is tough mm-hmm. but playing overseas like Unless you playing in the, you know, in the Euro League, or you playing in the Euro Cup leagues and stuff like that, where it's, it's all it almost got an NBA feel. Mm-hmm. You in any other mother knockoff countries? It's different. Yeah. It's different. You know what I'm saying? Like the food is different. <laughs> like nobody speaks your language. Yeah. You know what I mean? The living conditions is 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 different. And, and I never forget it, man. I got off. I went over there. I said, yo, they called me to come to Puerto Rico to play in a little tournament. They're like, yo, we'll give you four bands a game, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, bet. So I went over there, right? I flew to the DR, and then I get off the plane, and I'm now I'm with – anything can happen at this point for real. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm in a car with a dude. I don't know him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like – it's probably like 12 at night. Yo, we, we, we on the interstate riding for like two hours. He's swerving all over the lanes. Like his little parties on the side of the highway and stuff like that. Like when people pull over, they really party. And I'm like, yo, where am I at? So we get to where we going. And I'm thinking I'm going to a hotel. Mm-hmm. I, went to, I, I ended up in somebody's crib. And I'm like, yo, what? Like, hold on, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So he like, yo, yeah, we just gonna crash at my crib tonight and then we'll put you in the hotel tomorrow. And I'm like, all right. So then we go to the hotel and it's like, yo, this is a hotel? Like, yo, what is this? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, no. Yes. But I, I'm, so I, I, I end up seeing some American, they're like, nice side over here, side. So then we go and get some food, but I won't feel in that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then, like, even in the hotel we was in, like, that joint was weird, yo. Like, I'm like, oh, no, nah, after this, this is it. Like, I'm about I'm to find my I'm to find my way doing something else. Because this this ain't it. Like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm about to the life out there. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. See, even in Israel, right, I, 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 and this was probably like my first night over there. And I'm fresh out of college at this time, like fresh. I walk out the hotel, I'm like, yo, I gotta do something. Like, I'm just sitting in this hotel, like, yo, like, I don't know nothing, but I know the beach was right there. I'm close to the embassy. I'm like, I'm, I just start walking. And I end up like on the 17th floor in the building that raid. So like one person walked past, step on my shoes, and I'm like, Maybe it was an accident, but then like four, four or five more people walk past and step on my shoes. And I'm like, yo, hold on, man. <laughs> like, yo, what is this? So then I don't know what it was, but you know, some young lady, she like, you're in the wrong place. I'm gonna take mm-hmm. you to a place where it look like more your people. You know what I'm saying? And then mm-hmm. I, I I go to this, you know, this this other club and I see my man Richard Hendricks that played at Bama. My old head guy, Will Solomon, he was playing with um, Jerusalem at the time. Um, I see my boy um, Jack McClinton who played at Miami. I'm like, oh, yeah, so it's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? But it was just, like, even that, like, that part was cool. But then when I go back to my hotel, for real, like, where I was staying, like, you go down to eat, like, you ain't no bacon, no sausage, none of that. Like, it's straight, like, eggs, oatmeal. 
and like turkey, like you know what I'm saying? Like it was it was different. Like it was straight different. Um hey, you definitely gotta have a different mindset doing that, man. You got to. I won't that I won't ready for that. Yeah. I really won't. 